You know, engineering is pretty hard, but you get to build whatever the f you want. This winter, I decided to spend the entire break building another Evito, except this time, it intends to fly. The process began in October 2023, and this is how it went. Enough, I got a lot of this thing done. I mean, just look at this. Look at that. It's, it's getting together. I'm so happy. Instead of having one giant too, we just... <laughs> Happy to meet these two, Cameron and Chandler, right here in Moffitt. So yeah, I mean, they make this awesome business that connects um, student organization and companies with machine shops nearby. Yeah, the um, aluminum joint. But however, this one is about 130 centimeters. This is the type of the man and the various of the networks that several people here are actually working on. Here, we're just waiting for her shell. There is another additional part of carbon fiber tubes. All right, and... So, the manufacturing process has begun. It's Monday, and... Jesus! Ooh. Smell the truth. Look at that. live here at this point. Um, it's my fourth time coming to Jacobs. And Cindy decided to join my project, finally. Sheesh, it moves. <laughs> Let's hope it still moves after we manufacture. <laughs> Hinge works. Like, this sounds very sus, because the tolerance is bad. Dude, I just feel like I live here now. Today's my fifth time at Jacob's home. Huh? Finally got this print off the bed. I was hitting it with a hammer for like 10 minutes. The whole project in general because now here is the design. The the back looks a little bit dumpy, but the front, the front, it looks so good.
This thing is so fast. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. Got excuse to buy the most expensive flight controller. <laughs> it's literally like an Android phone on there. And then um, starting here, F, G, focus, and H. So our. <laughs> Want to see the mystery colors? <laughs> It broke the extruder cover and it broke one of the support pieces. Okay, the moment of truth. <laughs> We already have the full piece that's fully functional. It worked! It worked! It worked! And it finally came back with me with the, um, the full final version of the CAD. And here it is. You can see this. Finally sent it to me. I think it looks really pretty. In a way, I'm really excited. final part to my assembly and then I will make a render of it and we'll see the final result by the end of today. Okay, so we got all of our stuff back, all thanks to my dad carrying it all the way from China. The amount of package. It's actually huge.
The following day, my team and I attend CES 2024, where we learn about the industry with flying cars, eVTOLs, and fancy technologies. We were really fortunate to have a dinner with two VPs from Xpeng AeroHD, the largest eVTOL firm in Asia. As for my own eVTOL, there is still some problem with the structural integrity which requires some redesign. And my plan is to spend the next two months bringing modification to the design and then manufacturing more parts. Hopefully by spring break we'll be able to reassemble it and during the summer break we'll take it into the air. So stay tuned and subscribe for part 2 and hopefully by the beginning of June we'll get this thing off the ground.